One of the popular requests in my comments is to test if the panic effects really fade away when you live long enough. I can answer that with a clear yes. It gets progressively better and around 4 months in, it's barely an issue at all. How does agoraphobic and claustrophobic work? Both of these traits add panic at a constant rate depending on the amount of offending tiles you can see. At 4 months in, a claustrophobic character is okay in a normal bedroom, but a tiny bathroom still sets off the panic sale. Shouldn't you always get panic then? What is reducing it? Well, as time goes by, the rate your panic reduces increases. Sure, suddenly spotting 10 zombies will still max your panic, but that panic quickly fades. You can see as I remove agoraphobic, the constant panic gain is reduced, allowing the panic reduction to completely take over. This isn't character dependent either. Once I recoup my costs on this investment and brought in my portfolio into a promising new panic buy, I discovered the new stock had the same diamond hands as the last one. That's also the reason I went with the CDDA start. In my first test, I noticed that the panic reduction was based off time passing on the save and not the character. Thus, I tested if starting later in the year would make a difference. Thankfully, it didn't. But then I discovered another bug. I decided to recoup my costs yet again and bought into another fresh and promising agoraphobic stock. This one seemed to be faulty though. Why is it randomly gaining panic? Hold on a minute. Did my panic start going up when I zoomed out? Both of these traits add panic at a constant rate depending on the amount of offending tiles you can see. What a disaster. Especially when you realize that increasing the game's resolution increases the amount of tiles you can see as I showed in my video, Settings and Keybind Tips. This does mean that you can selectively activate Adrenaline Junkie on an agoraphobic character if you live long enough. The best of both worlds. Don't worry, I tried to shrink the window as small as possible to see if I could cancel out agoraphobic, and I couldn't. This brings up a very important question. If panic reduction is based on the amount of time that passed on a specific save, does that mean multiplayer characters made after a few months have passed should take the panic traits for free points? So I hosted my own server and sped up the 4 months only to find out that the time based panic reduction doesn't appear to work on a server. So uh, yeah, don't take the panic traits expecting them to improve on a server. 